deadly lane, just deadly jungle. Yeah, for sure. I just think uh, uh, there's a lot of people, especially up in Vangarius, that know how to play Churnwalker really well, and it just Churnwalker band coming out and Varya band coming out, and then a Black Feather pick, pretty pretty decent, and then Arden pick, normal drafts. I'm is that, expecting is that to be Wait, are they already banning? Yeah, we are Camille and uh, Evers have banned already. Oh, I can't see that. I don't want to refresh. Well, okay, we are Camille just banned Rona, which is which makes sense. Rona's a really big threat this patch. She's able to do a lot against uh, weapon power la laners in general. Like you can do really well into Rona. You can do really well into Ringo, which is a really big threat this uh, patch. Yeah, so they, I did see the Sky ban too. Sky is also pretty strong with that new Dragon's Eye. I yeah, think especially, especially if you can... Jungle. See, all she does is got to use a... Uh, the Clockwork and Bre Dragon's Eye to back and poke a little bit and then, <laughs> then go in. She's, uh, she's definitely hard to play against. No, I like the Ringo pick. I feel like Ringo's a really good um, laner this patch because of the Spell Sword Tyrant's build. You always have your twirling silver on, and if you can stutter step properly, the amount of damage you can do is insane. Now we're going to see a I weapon also, power. Yeah, so we're going to see a lane black feather. I also think Ringo is probably one of the better heroes to play against in terms of ranged heroes against black feather. If you good can run well. Good round counter pick for against a team with all melees. Mm hmm. Definitely going to help but out. And that, it's going to be interesting the Ozo and Grace together. Because of the, um, how much uh, sustain Ozo can have, plus the two heals if she builds Echo. Yeah, the one thing is that I think uh, B-side will, will do really well if this Ringo can play around the Rhyme. I think they'll have a good chance of winning this game. Definitely. But if the Ringo, I really do think... If Ringo you know, is way too far away from Rhyme, I, I don't think he has a chance because... One black feather is too mobile for rhyme. You know, he black feather can get in and out. Um, and if they just you know instantly dive Ringo, then you know rhyme's pretty much useless in a three v two. I mean, he's not useless, but it's not it's not a favorable fight. Yeah, can totally agree with you on that. But I definitely think it's a winnable game from both sides. But right now, it looks like Everest clearly won the draft. Yeah. But I mean, also, we guess we have to see what's a, you know, how this game plays out. Yeah, Ozo's Ozo's early game is pretty pretty strong. It's getting able to just do all that massive damage if you can use your jumps correctly. But you can really, you have to be good at Ozo. Like, if you miss your jumps, you basically mm -hmm. just miss all your damage for at least. 10 I think seconds. the the other thing Team Everest has to do to shut down uh, we are Kamir is. They have to f pressure Ozo early on in the jungle, especially with Rhyme. I think for sure, uh, Rhyme's early game kind of outdoes Ozo's. Yeah, I can agree as well. Regular rotations are happening though. Ringo and Rhyme killing their backs together, and then Ozo and Blackfoot killing their backs together. Yeah, no, so, I, I mean, this is this is pretty standard though with the yeah with this whole uh, you know the the laner and the the jungler yeah um, Arden's actually critically low he took a lot of damage it might be um, Kamir might be just be able to force his um, sentry if they knew how low Arden actually was. Yeah, and I think that's actually, you know, one of the a big mistakes that people usually make is if the roamer, you know, the roamers will often try to fight each other and then one of them ends up super low health and, you know, then like the other team can easily force a team fight. Interesting. They're not, Black, Black just went to lane and now they're just going to get a free, unless you can steal it. Who got it? No, it looks I'm like getting, but they start team fighting. Ozo gets rooted and just gets popped and then now it's only it's Ringo and Rhyme but Rhyme and Ringo can totally hold their own get this off but I don't think they're gonna get any more here Grace is a little bit too tanky for them but they are gonna try to get the mids here 
I definitely think they, they should be able to push something here, at least uh, some of Oza's farm. Definitely, it was it was a bad call for the Black Feather to go back, to go up in lane, when he didn't even see if the if the other the enemy team's laner went up to lane. Yeah, that was definitely not, not the best call on him, just because he kind of just left them for a 2v3. Yeah, and as soon as as soon as they knew that, of course they're gonna win a two v three, even if the supports a low health. Now, I really do like the minion candy waves, but I feel like you should never just minion, minion candy your wave and leave it. You should try to do something with it, like poke or pressure, or at least put some damage on the turret. And uh, yeah, I am I having know. a slight amount of lag here. I don't know if that's. It's not transferring over to Discord at all. But this Ringo is definitely pressuring, and that's what I like to see with the Ringo to make sure Blackfeather is able to scale well. Wait, just mm -hmm. to be careful to watch out for ganks. I am going to switch to my LTE. Be right back. Okay, I'll keep on casting. Well, our Ringo is going back to lane, and then Rhyme has secured these. Um, Rhyme has been securing these treants, and that's really giving a big edge. Like he already, ha he almost has his Eve completed. He needs 500 more gold for his Eve, and it's only three and a half minutes in. Now I like they're putting pressure on the tower, but again, they're not they're not able to use their pressure for anything. They're just gonna let it push. Sad and continue has so many um, big winnings there as well. Yeah, I am uh, I am completely frozen right now. So I mean, I'll just try to. <laughs> also looking for this steal. Oza does not end up getting it, and he, and he might he might die here. Actually, it's a root off. Ozo pops his flash and gets a crap ton of regen because of his um his passive. And he's able to get out freely. Jungle has intensified. Are you still hearing? Um, yeah, yeah I can hear uh, I'm completely frozen. Really? Yeah, the funny thing is is that I have 150 megabytes per second download speed. Or supposedly. Uh, you, you just, gotta re just restart your app, but that might yeah. kick you out. I gotta do what I gotta do. Ringo is taking quite a bit of damage from this Black Feather, and that's good as well. Like Black Feather, should... the ulti lands on Oz, the ulti lands on Ringo, and they're looking for a kill here. Ozo should get his jumps off and should be the first to kill here. That's a clean kill right there, and they should they should pressure this tower. They have minion candy. Rhyme is coming up and trying to do some damage, but this aftershock is proving to be a little too much for this Rhyme. Nice stun gets two stuns, and this Rhyme is getting a lot of stacks with his deep harvest. This Rhyme is ramping up. They have to fall back because Rhyme just has too much fortified health. Alright, I am connecting back in. I'm sorry. Okay, that's that. good. Uh, Ozo got a kill on Rhyme and then nothing really happened. Blackfoot trying to go in for here. Grace Grace hits the Grace hits the benediction, but then isn't the Blackfoot isn't able to follow up because he's not he does not have his ulti. Props to Hellfire Brew and he's not able to block it because he still doesn't have level six yet. Ringo goes for the ult but it gets blocked. It gets blocked. Ringo's taking Ringo's doing a lot of damage to this uh, Ozo. Rhyme is, comes up to lane, Rhyme gets hit by the benediction, and Rhyme is not able to follow, but Rhyme goes down, chasing the chasing the Ozo. You need to connect back in. Uh, I'm trying to load back in. If anything, I'm going to switch Discord to another device and probably use my 4G LTE to, to get back into the game. Okay. Yeah, let me, let me do that. I'll be right back. Well, okay, we are down a caster right now, so if anyone's joining right now, it's only me. Uh, sorry for that, it's only me. Okay. Okay. 
So what do you think that the uh, community needs to do here? Or what do you think? Everest I definitely think. What do you think both teams need to do here, actually? Because you know it's pretty. Evil. I definitely think what um Everest has to do is just keep on applying the pressure. Because right now they are stronger. The Ringo pick is really good against a triple melee comp, as long as this Ringo can block the Ozo. But they're about to dive in on the Ozo. They're about to dive in on the Ringo. And Ringo just gets popped, but it, sadly not to secure a kill. But the Ozo uses the ulti. Still does not not manage the kill. But Blackfoot goes in and gets the kill, but ends up getting dying to tower. All right, guys. I'm sorry about that. I'm back. I'm in the game. Lime, Lime lands the ulti, but the Benediction hit double Benediction. But this, but this Ozo should not. This Ozo is gonna go down. But I like no. I like that Grace knows what she's trying to do here. Push the wave out, so it doesn't get to tower. Can you see the yeah, match? Yeah, and uh, yeah. So I am in now. So one thing I do see Ringo did go with the spell sword, which is a really good item on him. Because he does have that, you know, almost 100% uptime on his twirling silver. Definitely like the depression in the lane so much, though. Mm -hmm. You see that team Everest does. does. The heal, the heal uh, heals up Ozo to full, and he just keeps on diving in, and he's doing so much damage. But isn't able to close out the kill on Ringo. Grix is going to go in for it, but is able to secure the kill. Grix is not the group gets rooted by rooted by the Rhyme. And now, Rhyme, Rhyme is just all left alone, but Ozo does go down by the turret shot and Rhyme helping each other out. And now, it's just just Secret Love and Rhyme left. <clears throat> Do you think that they're going a bit too hard on these dives? Yeah, I think, uh, well, I don't think they're getting any uh, too much out of it. I mean, the gold is still pretty even. Uh, I guess, you know, turrets are still pretty even too. So, I mean, I guess they're they're getting equal trades out of it, but I think you know if they're not doing too much, the jungler should just go and you know farm up. But I guess Ringo is taking the uh, the jungle farm. Go on. Yeah, the sooner this Ringo can get the the tyrant, the better for him. He can just mm -hmm. start mowing down. So I'm curious to see if Ringo's actually going to build attack speed this game. I know I do see some Ringo builds without attack speed. You know, with that twirling silver. I would probably build a breaking point here, but a uh, five breaks on the jungle and Rhyme gets Rhyme gets sold out, but is able to get a lot of health back from his fortified health and his um, barrier. Rhyme infuses. This will be interesting to see how much damage it can do. Blackfeather's coming down. Blackfeather's coming down. And Rhyme might just be popped here, but this infusion is really turning out to help him out, and this Ringo is just doing so much damage. A triple root, and the heal comes to the Ozo, 650 health. Great gauntlet to separate the team out. A double benediction hits, and this Ozo is just trying to go in, and this rhymes running critical on mana. Ringo uses all team. A bang ring hits the bang ring hits the Ringo, but isn't sadly, sadly not able to finish him off. Great, great route by um, Rhyme to finish off the kill, but it can get the kill on Grace. Sadly not, but they can get this tower though. Yeah, and uh, also I think, I think uh, in this late game, I, Ringo's get, probably gonna need to build that poison shield. Dude, I, I think, I think they thought they were gonna win that fight because they saw the rhyme solo, but I think mm -hmm. they forgot. They didn't check for the rhyme being infused. Yeah, I mean, and rhyme has been, you know, obviously if he, he has that Eva harvest and he can, you know, regenerate life really easily, especially when all three of them are on top of each other. Ringo, Ringo might get popped here, he pops the ulti, Ringo does end up dying, and he's looking for more, trying to go into the jungle and trying to get this Arden. Arden said has to, has to pop Crucible, and Rhyme is getting caught out here, Rhyme is about to get popped, but this fortified health is destroying way too much and is able to, he's able to tank everything, a great stun onto the Grace, and Rhyme is successfully able to just hold this tower, gone, tower on. Yeah, one thing though about Team We Are Kamir is that uh, they are clumped up. So every you know you see that Rhyme is getting his off all on to you know two or three people at a time. I think that's something that they should watch out for. Really good at yeah, this Rhyme is really good at landing his ultis. Mhm. Mm 
I mean, that's what Black happens when you play triple melee comp. Yeah, Blackfeather did already go with the the Atlas, so he does have a Serpent's Mask, Serpent's Mask breaking point in Atlas. And, you know, apparently they they really want to shut down this Ringo early on. But it's going to be really interesting to see how much damage the um, Ozil will do after he gets Dragon's Eye or Broken Mid. But this Rhyme already has Dragon's Eye, and this Rhyme is living in most of the fights for a long yeah. time. Yeah, this He's Dragon's actually, Eye is going to die once yet, actually. Mm -mm. And he's gonna, you know, that dragon's eye only is only gonna help him out even more. But it does look like Ozo is gonna go into a broken myth, which, you know, they don't have too much shield, so I, you know, you would think that he would just go into the dragon's eye next. Yeah, and I really love how this Rhyme and this Ringo are constantly splitting farm to make sure they get the most out of the value of it. Like, this Ozo's 12, this Ozo's 12, but the Black Feather's only 10, while Ringo is still 11 and Rhyme is still 11. Yeah, inter interesting to see how uh, how that'll play out, because, I mean, obviously that there is somewhat of a level difference between the, the carries. Team Everest trying to pressure here, trying to see if they can get, a, get, get anything in here. Ringo's able to steal the the tree and is doing so much damage with those crits they're just gonna go for the sentry and just take it out yeah it does seem like that team everest does want to push something here wow team everest is, just took all their farm except their sent their tree and now what do you what do you think we are Kamir has to do here to try to prevent this bleed I think that they need to one play it safe. Um, you know, obviously, builds is another thing. I, personally, for the Ozai, I wouldn't have gone with the the broken myth, just Dragon's Eye. They also are going to need to start building defense for this Ringo. I mean, obviously, Blackfeather does, but Grace and R Ozo do not have anything. Sorry to interrupt you, but a team fight thing. Uh, Ringo getting caught out, but the stun hits two people, and Ringo's just able to dance around, but gets killed by the Black Feather. And now it's just up to Rhyme to try to carry this fight. But I don't know if they're able to. Rhyme's infused and has six Dragon's Eye stacks, but this, the team attention going directly onto Arden. Arden gets popped. And now it's just Rhyme, but this Rhyme is very strong. 12 stats Rhyme. Yeah, but I, I mean, honestly, I think he should back out, or at least play it safe under his Sentry turret. Me too. I think he's, he's running low on energy. Down. And this um this black feather does have breaking point. Yeah, but I mean even if he's stacking up, I still think you know two V or one V three is gonna be very hard. Yeah, but definitely the reason they lost up they really did need all that shutdown. But they just mm -hmm. got cut out. They didn't realize that the whole team was there, they just thought Ozo was there, and they just jumped on the ringo. Yeah, so so that's exactly what you know they gotta do every time is Ozo and Blackfeather, I guess, well, and Grace because they have such a good you know, dive comp, just dive right onto that Ringo and shut him down early in the fight, so we can't put out yeah, that much yeah. damage. And, and the way the way um, Avers counters this is by ulting like Rhyme ulting directly on top of Ringo and them kiting back and not engaging on them, but just trying to back up the Ringo because. The Ringo does a lot of damage, and if Rhyme is able to support that while doing, giving the slows out, giving the stuns out, giving the roots out, they'll be able to win any team fight. Yeah, especially if Rhyme is able to, to stack up. Definitely. Kraken has spawned, so this, they're, they're itching for a fight here. I personally don't think they should, just because... Ozo hits, Ozo hits the... Uh, Ozo hits the ulti and ends up killing the, the Ringo exactly how they should play it, just dive the Ringo. And now they're just going in for the Arden. Arden pops. Arden pops his fountain, but isn't able to save him. Now it's up to Rhyme, but this Rhyme is strong, but I don't think he's strong enough to 2v3. Ends up getting some of the benediction and they're just taking damage and damage over and over again. Especially because both of these... You know, both of these heroes have the... Uh, Sustain. Yeah, he's trying to kill this. Uh, he's trying to kill this black feather with black feather nose. Wow, it's not an ace. Ooh. 
That ace could have been really helpful. Oh, Ringo did get up in time. Yeah, so I think I think this Ringo is gonna have to start building defense if he wants to stay alive. This Blackfeather is melting him. Yeah, that and I think they should. I think Rhyme is being uh, playing a bit too aggressive because he knows how strong he is right now, and he's yeah. really strong right now. But he's forgetting that Ringo, Ringo's their target, not Rhyme. The enemy team, the enemy team doesn't want to fight Rhyme. They know they know they'll lose against Rhyme. Yeah, you know they'll, they'll never win that fight with Ringo still up. <clears throat> Very so in it. Also, there it comes the energy battery. What do you think he's gonna build? I think he's gonna go with Eve, which uh, I don't know. I think I mean, either aftershock or Eve is probably it's either one or the other, not both. But I think what. What Team Everest needs to do here now, so they're starting to kind of lose, fall behind on these team fights. They got to start uh, playing around this Ringo. Yeah, definitely. Or at least protecting him. The Ringo should not be going in for these like cheeky pokes because he can just get dived on instantly. Like their whole team has so much mobility. Like we are can just jump on anyone and just do so much damage to them. The interesting thing is that Arden does have the echo, and so I'm wondering if he is echoing that the Vanguard, because I haven't seen him echo the Gauntlet, and honestly, echoing the Gauntlet in this situation is not the, the best, you know, the best thing to do. With the back can dodge it, but we are Kimir is going in. Also, just going for the back climb, but they did not corner that well, and now they're going in. But this Gauntlet got stunned out actually. Oh, yes, but. We could use the ulti on the Grace, try to get the finishing kill, and they should be able to get the kill him. Just rooted. Ozo trying to do damage, but Ringo's just gonna get popped, and they're smart and they're playing back. That's exactly what they want to see. And Ringo's just gonna get popped with the root. They're going for the Kraken, and I don't know, Ozo might try to steal. Yeah, they, they should have just gone for Ozo. He was stuck there hitting those minions for some reason. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he was doing. Yeah. Maybe he was just trying to get yeah, away. I think there was some communication here though, because. Like, Ozo went in, and Blackfeather was still buying stuff. Mm hmm Yeah, so maybe that was kind of a... Sort of a bad part on the on Team Everest. And I enjoyed that um, this ring goes building a breaking point as well. I think against these super tanky people, like Ozo and... Um, Ozo and um, Blackfeather, you should definitely build a breaking point and not more crit. The other thing is, you know, just to sustain in general, but the one thing Ozo did not have a chance to build too much defense against the Ringo, so he just got bursted. Yeah, there should definitely be pressure in here, like, let Ringo get as much breaking points as possible. There's a range pushing with Kraken against three melees. Like, what what else could you want more? Even that, just focusing Ozo with this, with his, uh, you know, he'll probably get the stacks up better, right? Based on damage. Yeah. Trying to go in, Ringo gets out a little bit, ends up getting popped, but they have Warthers and able to get out easy. And Aweer Camille is directing the focus back to Kraken, but Kraken is going to be able to take this take this turret. The turret does go down, there's only one more turret protecting this main crystal. <sighs> yeah, and this, this fight is still anyone's game in my mind. Me We've too. seen some pretty good plays by both sides. I mean, maybe once uh, once this Ozo gets fully built and once Blackfeather gets fully built, it might be a different story. But I definitely Everest are learning on what they should be doing. Yeah. They're in the last two team fights. Yeah, so they are really, they're, they're progressing really well as a team. Ringo getting caught out here, but the Blackfeather is nowhere to be seen. In Blackfeather gets, end up getting tower, but this Gauntlet gets a stun on on the Grace and the Ozo. And the Dream Heart plus through a fight here. I think this is what Team Everest needs. Ooh, they need to just just push this. Definitely. Buffer tries to go and gets the heal and is able to save out and get out really nicely using his um, ulti. Now they're going back in, just jumping on the Ringo, and the Ringo just is just getting popped. This Arden can't do anything. They're just bobbing and weaving the whole time. Yeah, this fight's not looking good for Team We Are Come Here. Definitely not looking good. Buffer. Blackfoot is just going to be killing the, a triple kill for Blackfoot after he kills the whole team. 
that really was Black Father right there. He ended up just getting so many stacks. Just able to know when to go out and go in because of this rhyme, just able to root him and he just went out and went in really cleanly. Yeah, so it also does seem like Rhyme has, uh, he kind of fell behind on his defense there with Ozo. Because he only had that, you know, the tier 1 shield going into that fight. Yeah, <laughs> so, you're right. It seems Rhyme is, uh, maybe it's because Rhyme is not taking his farm. I don't really know the reason for Rhyme. But right now it does look yeah. like the Ozo has more money than him. Yeah, it does seem like the Ozo does have a, you know, he has a little bit of an item lead on him. Ooh, Arden getting caught out here, and we are super just able to get stacks. Ozo goes in, but able to get out with a nice jump to the tree. And how would you, how would you protect Ringo here? It seems really hard to protect him after getting dived that hard. Yeah, um, well, I, th I mean... Obviously, this Arden is doing a really good job of just double vanguarding him. At least what I'm seeing. Uh, it seems like still, it's still that Ringo's running too far away from Rhyme because Rhyme is, you know, probably one of the slowest heroes in this game. If you know, apart from Finn, that's that's like a problem with a lot of supports these days. That like, there aren't mobile uh, like Grace or Arden. Mm -hmm. Actually, Arden's mobile, but like, but for Grace, such as. See, see, like, look at this fight. Ringo's too far away from Rhyme. Yeah, but this Black Feather is just going in, and his team has no backup. Black Feather is not cornering with his team. Black Feather gets hit with the ulti, true damage, but then Ringo is just piling up his breaking point stacks and just going to eat up his um, also. And now they should go straight for Kraken. Yeah, and then now this Black Feather is low, so he's got to go home. Grace and Black Feather has to get down there really fast. Ozo played for Ozo paid for Black for the Sims right there. <laughs> <clears throat> but can Grace get the steal? No. Yeah. I mean I think that's probably smart of her too, just to not not go for that because if they if they lose and you know, then they they or if they if Grace went down then there'd be a two v three and with the cracking up, their best chance is to push a team fight right here. Another yeah. interesting thing is that Ringo did sell his Terrence monocle for a, uh, a ship. ship. Yeah. And in in theory, it's really good because everyone on their team has sustain items. Yeah, and that's that's honestly the item that I wanted to see from Ringo early on. Me too, but I, was, I, I just I just wondered what he replace re, would replace it with. Because like the crate is such an important part. Ringo ends up Ringo all the them. Black for the black for not it. Black for not able to dodge us. I wanted. Okay, they're going for the T5. Ozo lands. The Ozo lands the ulti, but Rhyme is just going straight for the end game. This should be GG right here. If Gauntlet, hard yeah, this is GG here. That was a that was a good game by both sides, but. Definitely, definitely, I think Yuya Kamir could have won this game if they just coordinated better. Because there was at least two or three times that you saw that. Either Ozo went in by himself, or Black for the one in by himself. And it's, you just can't do that. You have to dive together to end up killing the Ringo. Yeah, and uh, I think... I, don't know, I think also the Ozo picking up that, that breaking point, or the, sorry, the broken myth broken. instead of the, the Dragon's Eye, I think that, that also... Kind of hurt him a little bit because, <clears throat> you know, in the beginning they, they still didn't really have that much shield, and he could have been stacking up a lot. And I think the the broken myth is definitely a better third item yeah, than it is second in this game. These fights were going on for a very long time. Yeah, that was the other thing. And, you know, Rhyme was able to stack up, Ringo was able to stack up, Blackfeather was too, and Ozo just, yeah, you know, he was you know putting out the same damage. And then Ringo, you know, obviously the the poison shift did probably helping him out a little bit more. Interesting else else to see is that uh, the blue side that we are Kamir did have a lot more kills than than yeah that had a gold lead as well. Than Everest, yeah, yeah, definitely what won this game. I gotta say is that how much pressure that Ryan was able to keep early game, so they didn't lose early game. If they lost the early game, 
I think this game would have been gone. Yeah. Well, guys, so... Wait, go ahead. Do you think they'll uh, ban Ringo this uh, game? Or ban Rhyme, maybe? Uh, honestly, I don't think they'd ban either. Uh, Rhyme, I think, is just a very situational pick. Um, and, you know, obviously, like, you wouldn't just pick Rhyme out of anywhere like it was, I think it was, like, before his hotfix. Um, Ringo is also, I, th I think you can counter him, too. He he's, he's obviously a lot better. Or, you know, he's a lot harder to counter, but I mean, if if that's, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if they did see a Ringo ban, or if they did ban Ringo. But yeah. Rhyme definitely not. We are seeing that We Are Crimea has switched out their uh, laner actually to Aquazale. So let's see if this game will be. Let's see what game will win this game. Very excited to see VR Commanders and B side draft. I think B side is a, oh, a bit you stronger know, than A side. Somehow I got kicked out of the, the game. The, the, the menu. Oh, the game? Just uh, ask Shell for an invite. Yeah, I have to do that. There we Did go. you get the draft? Yeah, yeah, so I'm in the draft too. There we go. But definitely this series is anyone game. anyone's game. Yeah, you see the. These teams are, you know, I guess, fairly even. So I think it's just who makes the last mistake. In my mind, definitely because there was there was a lot of mistakes in that game, and the people when you made those mistakes, you people kept the enemy teams capitalized on the mistakes, and that's exactly what they did. Both sides. Mm -hmm. I think the the best play that kept this game. The MVP, I think, is probably for this match has got to go to Rhyme. Yeah, he managed to keep. He managed to survive for 20 seconds when his old team was down. It was only him. If they yeah, ended up picking up the ace there, they would have gotten cracking. Just the fact that he was living for a lot longer than than uh, yeah. we are Kamir wanted him to. Like they. We are coming here only took one one tower that game and they had a 2000 gold lead still like just think about that yeah well i mean obviously until it was the end but yeah i mean like the gold lead the gold was pretty in favor of uh we are coming here the whole game so you know i don't i don't know how they're still managing to let you know to out damage the other team i mean they they definitely Picked the late game comp, and late game mm -hmm. did come, and they won. They were winning late game, but sadly they messed up. Or that last team fight where Black Pillar dove without, you know, he was diving way too deep without Ozo and Grace. And, that, and then that definitely they for, they didn't communicate, and then Ozo ended up going in, and then Black Pillar was already out of there. He just said bye bye. Mm -hmm. Well, and I guess like after. After Ozo died, I, I mean, I guess that was a smart play by Blackfeather, but I just think that since their their whole comp was dive oriented, you know, they did so they had so many good plays where all three of them were diving on that Ringo, but yeah. it's just that that one time they didn't coordinate it that well, you know, they they kind of just paid for it. But definitely, Everest also learned what to do. Like at first, they were like, "Okay, we're super strong right now. Let's just dive in and make reckless, reckless plays." And they mm -hmm. got punished for that, but then they ended up learning that we have to kite for our Ringo. And that's how we'll end up winning these fights. And that's exactly what they did. And they ended up winning the fights. Yeah, and you know, also the one thing that I want to say is that they're also team fighting within that Crystal Sentry. I kind of feel like a lot of people underestimate how much damage that thing actually does. Or, you know, yeah, just... it does so much. And honestly, I, I like just... Mm-hmm. Just being able to fight within your your uh, crystal sentry okay so we are in the, the draft oh I, I actually missed that I didn't see any of it yeah so we do have a turnwalker a varia a sky and a rona ban so it'll be pretty much the same thing as last time and we are, we are Kamir has Ringo and black for the top some of the top three picks Top three picks of this whole meta actually 
but this Ringo does counter both those characters really well. Yeah, and I guess Team Everest wanted to go with the Taka, which I I really hate playing against Taka. I mean, obviously it's different when you have a full team. A Kestrel. Looks like they're trying to go double stealth. Definitely, but Kestrel gets shut down by Ringo and also gets shut down by Blackfeather really hard. What Roamer do you want to see here? I want to see Grace again. Grace is oh. a really strong, but Lyra works as well. I don't know if I would have done Lyra. I, I think that wasn't the best call because Kestrel is really good at bursting down Lyra. Um, yep. Taka yeah, also does Grace a lot of damage. I, I also like Kathy, to be honest. But Kathy can't stun invisible targets. She can if she has flares. True, true, true. But, okay guys, we are into the second game. Team Everest on A side and Team We Are Kamir on B side. Looking like a really nice game. We Are Kamir has some nice drafts. And Everest bringing out the Kestrel, and I have not seen a Kestrel in competitive play for a long time. Yeah, Kestrel really hasn't been too far into meta this this patch. I mean, she definitely she's definitely not bad, but there's so many people that are better. Yeah. The battle for the Halcyon Fold has begun. So we just see a CP Blackfeather too, which I guess uh, a poke will come in handy with that, especially with Kestrel. I think. If this Blackfeather gets out of control, this game's over. Like, these two heroes are too squishy to be able to survive Blackfeather's damage output. Yeah, um, I think Kestrel will have a really hard time with Blackfeather. Uh, Taco may or may not, just depending on, you know, how well the... Uh, how, how well I Love Johnny is uh, putting out vision. Definitely. But I've seen that Taka does really well into Ringo, but this Lyra... He's able to shut down this um this taco which is with just one ability, the bulwark. Mm-hmm. That is that is yeah, true. not making the same mistake in keeping all the team all the team down. We are coming here ends up getting the um, health, but Taka Taka's just going for this Ringo and this Ringo is, is so low. This Ringo might end up dying. This Ringo's dead. And now they might be looking for a couple kills. Lyra ends up going down. Lyra not able to get the heal. And Ringo... Ringo's down, but they are not able to get the blast for their kill, sadly. But they will take his jungle. Ones, overstaying their welcome. They should not overstay their welcome here. Definitely whole team's back up again, and... A lot of damage going in for the black for the talk is going to the back line, getting getting a couple auto tests off auto tests off and Blackfeather is dead. And and you know this this early game is really gonna hurt. We are coming here. Yeah, definitely they should just go home now. Like they should stop being greedy and just go home. Wow, such a bait this <laughs> This Rico just got baited so hard. Oh, Aaron going in, but good. We are coming as respecting the damage and is going away. Yeah, now all Everest has to do is just keep the pressure on. They're so far behind in gold now. I mean, they're not actually that far behind in gold, but just in items in general. Yeah. The one thing about tri Trian is that it always helps you get a comeback. There's a... I thought Arden stole that. I was like, yeah, okay, yes, so mind. did I. <laughs> yeah, it Dude. does. But the other thing is that Taka's now pretty far behind. In, or, I guess Taka's actually not. Kestrel takes all of that farm. But three kills. Just, yeah, that is true. He does have a lot more kills. This Taka has 2,000 farm already. In gold? Yeah. Um, you know, that's the one thing that you don't want to let Taka do is get get ahead early on because that is just uh, look at that three minute aftershock. aftershock wow that's just that's gonna be nasty that's that's actually disgusting like <laughs> I, I don't feel good in the stomach seeing that ooh everyone getting caught out here and just getting popped but make, you should be able to pop 
has boots and is able to get out actually, so that's really good for him. Only problem with Kestrel early game is that he can she can get caught out so easily because she can't use that mist instantly. Yeah, and also I think if Lyra does jump on her, right, when she's invisible and she uses that bulwark, doesn't she go outside? Or doesn't she go, uh, the cloak goes away from that damage? I actually don't know, but this Blackfeather is, this Blackfeather some, stole the um, tree and is now just going for the Arden. The Arden's gonna end up going down here. But this, uh, but this Taka is chasing the Lyra as much as possible and is able, should be able to get the kill here. But no. Lyra has a clutch heal, but... Taka's still up to do it, but Taka's taking a lot Taka. of her shots to two. Yeah. And this Taka might be able to, this might be able to finish it off. But no. Really nice place. Definitely think this this uh, Taka needs to be pressuring more in their side of the jungle. Yeah, and although I do think he allowed Blackfeather to kind of catch up a little bit, not in item wise, but he is a level ahead of him. Yep. And you know, also Blackfeather hasn't shopped yet. I know the I know that he only bought his he bought his aftershock after selling both his weapon blades. And that's not really yeah, that's good true. right now, because he needs to he needs the clear time. <laughs> and he's not clearing that fast. Like Blackfeather is Blackfeather has such a fast clear after he gets a couple yeah. items going. And uh, you know, obviously you don't really see the uh storm crown on Taka that much anymore just because of you know, the, the item changes, so I don't think Taka will be getting that here. Mm, he might just want to go. With, yeah, he might just want to go with the banner just to just to help him out. Definitely. I mean, this uh, Blackfoot is level six already, but so is the Taka. Definitely, they might try to be trying to catch Blackfoot out here. Blackfoot ends up some still taking the mid. But they are doing so much damage to this. Now they should just target sentry. Yeah, they're gonna you know take an objective while they can. Definitely. Ooh, Taka goes in and has no backup at all. Very I think, very confusing play over there. I think he just underestimated how much damage he was doing. He probably thought he could just, you know, ult and A and kill that Ringo immediately. Definitely forgot about the Lyra's bulwark and the Lyra's seals. Yeah, so I, I think that was kind of Taka's fault. He should have waited for his team. They could have got that down. No. Would spells would be a good item on um, Kestrel? You know, I can see why people would do it for Kestrel, but I feel like she's more burst, and you could just get the other boots. The yeah. And. You need yeah. a sar, you need a sar blade to hit your, to hit your mist instantly. If you don't have a sar blade, you can't hit your mist instantly. Yeah. So honestly, I, I don't, I don't know if I would have gone that spell sword on the Kestrel just because she's so reliant on one well, that sar blade for the the mist and uh for or for her to cloak and for the damage just for glimmer shots. Definitely. I just would have gone, you know, that and then some crit. Wow, this Taka is able to chunk her out with just a slow and auto attack. The one thing though, I don't play Kestrel enough this patch, so you know, you know, it may it might work out for her just because she'll have that her glimmer shots up a lot more and won't have to worry about energy. Mhm. Mm but this game is definitely looking like it's going in we are Camera's favor right now. They might have a goal. Yeah. Uh, deficit, but. The black feather ringo we're talking about it's only by you know half a th you know 500 500 gold too but you know it just seemed like ringo is going with that standard spell sword and double crit against the spell sword. Sword. yeah black feather did go with the shatter glass which is you know I'll obviously with point and doing a lot of damage and coming out and just healing up and this his poke is doing so much damage, the ulti is gonna land on this Kestrel and does no damage, but the gauntlet lands and is able to do a lot of damage. Taka gets stunned, but the family comes out and saves his life. Taka might die for this. The Taka does not come out in enough time and then Taka just ends up getting popped.
This turret is, this turret is definitely going down really fast. You might even get a kill here. Aquazel went a bit too in and dies. Does not die to tower. Almost dies. I think but Taka's looking right. for the kill. No. Sadly. So the one thing I would have liked to see from this taco is maybe just a little more damage. I don't think he's doing enough to this Ringo. This Ringo doesn't have too much defense and you Definitely. see you can see him landing his ult on Ringo. It's not doing nearly as much as it should have. Yeah. Definitely I would have liked to see um, Shadow Glass Clockwork build. Yeah. That, that's, you know, if, if you're going to go with the Clockwork, I don't think you need the Aftershock. Yeah, and the fact that he had such a big gold in the beginning, like, I would have kept my two weapon blades and just built more damage and just looked for stuff instead of going yeah. for a straight aftershock. When aftershock, you need people need health to take damage from aftershock, and the four minutes in the game, almost no one has health. They're getting caught out here with the scout trap, so you can still see him through the um, mist, and he gets ulted. He does not have a flash to heal this, but he should be able to survive and not get the burn. But this Black Feather is able to do a lot of damage to this Arden. And Arden might have a popping fountain, but Black Feather respects it and goes back, and they're going for Gold Miner now. I don't think Taka should try to engage this. Yeah, he's definitely going to lose this Black Feather. You know, Black Feather, I think he is going with the, the Clockwork too. But he has that shatter glass, so he's going to be out damaging him by a lot. Yeah, definitely. This contraption's really good buy in this game. You yeah, and that's a and that's an item that you don't see too much on rumors anymore. But I mean, obviously here it's doing a lot of damage to the Kestrel and might get a solo kill actually. Sadly, one auto attack off. Yeah, but he can't push his turret. Yeah, see. If this was a regular match, Kestrel would have just been able to get away by using his her mist, but she doesn't have any, she doesn't have enough weapon power to use her mist. Oh yeah, no, she, she barely has any, but I mean maybe once she gets her second crit item she might. Definitely, but right now they definitely need that uh, thing. Gauntlet lands, it doesn't hit any stuns, but this is Crystal Center first helping up, but this actually does so much damage, and Taka just isn't able to prepare. Taka's also going for the wrong person, he's trying to go for Lyra, I think, you know, just not having enough defense on Black Feather and Ringo, he should just be going for them. Sorry, they're lagged out a bit. Yeah, that's right. But the Dark Commander is definitely taking control of this game really quickly. I don't really yeah, know. it's surprising, especially after that early game that that Everest had. You know, this seemed to have fallen so far behind. Really? It was the draft. Like, the Dark Commander's draft is so strong. <laughs> yeah, just. I don't know, what, what other laner would you like to have seen other than Kestrel into this pick? Um, okay. The thing is, by the Black Feather Ringo combo is really strong this patch. There, there isn't, I don't think there's any laner that counters it, <coughs> but in hand, there's certain laners that can handle it. Which like, ones are you thinking? Gonna, I think Vox can survive in lane. Yeah, maybe I could have seen a good Vox, just you know, especially if he was able to dodge Black Feather's bees. Yeah, is uh, on That's points. True. You can't survive. You can't really survive a Lyra um, Ringo comp. All that sustain, all that damage coming out. <clears throat> they are going yeah, they... for the game right now.
they're both refused, so they're not going to win this fight if they try to take this fight. Oh, they I think they, uh... Garen. Garen. Garen is going to get killed here. Waste of an ulti, but Kestrel does end up making a positive and somehow taking the turret. But Ringo is just going to clean up and just get a nice clean kill on this Kestrel up in lane. No, did uh, Team Everest, did they take that gold mine? They steal it? No. That's what I thought. This... <laughs> this Blackfeather wants blood. Yeah. This is going to be really hard for Everest to come back. Because usually what I would say here is turtle, turtle, turtle. But guess what's behind in 20 seconds. Oh, the Kraken. So, I mean, you know, they, they can't really... <laughs> and we are coming has such good division control that they just hiding in the bush and just able to do so much damage to this Blackfeather. And they're able to get the kill even though his team is so far away. Blackfeather is also. Double kill. You know, the other thing is just, it's two squishies and Kestrel has, you know, no defense for Ringo. Two squishies against some of the two strongest burst heroes in the game. And the one thing though about Kestrel's build is that she is purely glimmer shot based and she, you know, as soon as she gets those four glimmer shots off, she, she's not doing enough to get those, you know, to get that reset. Yeah, this is a very clean game by Weir from here and they, they, do, they did win this game in draft. I'm gonna say yeah, right. especially after that early game that they had, they, they did a really nice job of of coming back from that. Yeah, I was really surprised because I thought after the early game, I thought Taco would just own the jungle. Taco would just take over the black <laughs> of the jungle. Black would not do anything. And but, you know, honestly, I think it just comes down to build because yeah. you know, even even just look at Taco's build right now, he <clears throat> he's built a an aftershock a clockwork and then he was going to build a, a broken myth but they didn't have any shield to really build that broken myth from you know so <clears throat> very sad very sad like coming to this match i was really skeptic about this kestrel pick and i definitely thought that Kamira gonna win this game straight out they'll be like no say no say whatever they'll win the early game they'll win mid game they'll win late game but yeah kestrel Kestrel built a more bursty comp, Sour Blade, um, Double Crit. Taka didn't sell his weapon blades, kept his weapon blades, bought more defense, like building a Shadow Gosh or Broken Myth, and just got damage. Definitely would have gone a lot better. Yeah, I, I don't think Taka needed that Aftershock. I like that, that Shadow Glass clockwork, and, you know, depending on what else, either a Broken Myth or another Shadow Glass, since. They really weren't doing that much, and Blackfeather had a you know, he had a lot of damage, especially because you know Montaka didn't have any defense for him, and Kestrel didn't also have too much defense for him at the start either. So he was just chunking with you know almost hitting for 400. Definitely, and we are getting into draft here, but my link is not loading. Did your link load? Uh, yeah, I'm loading it right now. One, two. Okay, hold on. I thought I just saw it pop up. Okay, try this one. Okay, yeah, so we did see... I'm in the draft right now. Okay, I'm... Yeah, I'm in it as well. So this is game three of... Yeah, game we are three here of the and yeah. Everest. So it is one and one, one to one. The final match. This is going to be a really interesting match. Really interesting the drafts here. We are coming here did our draft last game. I'm interested to see if Everest can maybe pull something off on B side, because to me, B side's a stronger drafting side than A side this patch. Yeah, I I mean, I've always thought B side was a little stronger than A. Um, just because you have that last counter pick in the jungle. I think with mm -hmm. in terms of laners, you don't really need that counter pick, but I think the counter pick is more for jungling. Kamir is Kamir is uh, taking as much time as they want on this first ban. Arona ban coming out from We Are Kamir. 
Rona has been banned every single game this this whole game. Every single game this whole set. It seems like both teams do like Ringo, so I wonder if one of them is going to end up banning him. Looks like... I think it definitely needs a ban. Ringo is really strong. You know, either ban him or pick him. Maybe these teams aren't really that, that afraid of him. Yeah. I mean, after last I, I can... game, yeah. with the Black Feather, though. Mm, clean. Respect the... Um, respect your Premier, but... Varya is up. Ooh. You know, honestly, the Black Feather was really... You know, both games, the people who play Black Feather were doing really well. It's like, pick your poison. It's pick your poison. Who's worse, Black Feather or Varya being? I mean, Black Feather. Yeah. I think what uh, Team Everest has to do here is pick a really mobile comp. To shut down this Varya. If they can shut her down early on, then, then it's game over for her. Even I, I play Varya as much as I can get in ranked, which is like rare. But any chance I do, I find it that even if like they have a comp that counters me, I'm just able to kill everyone because that's how strong she is. Yeah. Ooh, a sky. A sky first pick, really interesting. You usually never pick your jungler first pick. I think I think the sky is one of those junglers that you could kind of just pick whenever. I think she if given the right person to play her, she could probably be one of the the most you know deadliest heroes out there in this in this game. Definitely, but I think they could have drafted better because they could have yeah. picked a support first pick and banned Ringo mm -hmm. or some other person because they didn't have to show the didn't have to show Weir Kamir and playing Sky so they can ban the Taka. Like we Weir Kamir probably never even thought of getting a Taka until that Sky showed up. Yeah, and Taka's also pretty good in Devaria too, so... Ringo Ben. Who, who do you think is going to come out here? Um... I think, honestly, they might go with... You know, if Sky's in the jungle, I think they're either going to go with a Vox or a Baron. Yeah, and I think... I think too. I think they should probably pick Baron over over the Vox just because Baron has a lot more burst. But you know we'll see with I guess you'll see after if you we really want finish really burst, draft. If you want a really bursty laner, Idris is your man. True. I don't know. Honestly from Team Everest, I would have liked to have seen a Lance play into this Varia. Honestly, yeah, and a Vox pick actually is really nice because there's a really weird interaction with Varya where if you're if you're in your B animation, if you if you get silenced, you can't actually use your B, you can't use your dashes. Yeah, yeah like, I'm really for this Varya and the Glaive pick. Yeah, we are Khmer I... still ends up winning this draft. I have a uh, personal experience because I'm I I play jungle and I like playing Glaive a lot and Glaive and Varya is a really strong comp, especially with the sustain from Lyra. Actually, this is this gonna be my first time seeing seeing a uh, spell sword Glaive in like not five v five. Yeah, um, I don't know who who they could go with here that they could really help them out. Yeah, boxes. They can't go Baron because of all the damage mm -hmm. that's going to be coming out. They just pop them. Box is probably the best bet they have going here. Yeah, I, I think they're stuck. I mean, unless they want to try this to go weapon power sky, which I I don't think that's really meta. Uh, well, not not against uh, another weapon power sky. Really, only works when there's um. A melee in jungle in lane. Yeah. Team Everest. They're going to overtime. Oh. They are stuck in a pickle. Box pick. Yeah, they, I guess they just kind of went with the safe fox pick. Okay, so before we get into this game, who do you think is going to win this game? 
I think we are Khmer. Uh, personally, I don't think they should have picked Arden um, for Team Everest. Uh, I just, I think they, they could have done anything better than Arden because, I mean, yeah, he has that gauntlet and he has the, the Vanguard, but the gauntlet's not going to really serve him too well with two heroes that, you know, that don't fight inside of small spaces. And, and we've seen it, we've saw it in the first game too. The Arden theoretically is supposed to help a lot, but if Arden get brute forced into just using all his stuff early into the fight, he becomes pretty useless and is only able to use the Vanguard. Which <laughs> yeah, is such a I, combo like this. I would have liked to have seen a stun out of Team Everest. I mean, if you're good at Sky, you can land it. Yeah, I mean, but like, you know, like a Kathy or a Grace. I think Grace would have probably been better. Just for, just for that one, the heal, and two, the stun. But I mean, also, I think if the Sky can get ahead early on, I think it'll be game over. So I think. Yeah, agreed. I think it is all just depending on, you know, how this early game plays out. For the sky, and if they if they push the early game, but the thing is, this if this Varia is able to even scale up a little bit, and they're not able to shut her down, this game is gonna be a very hard one. Yeah, um, that's that's the other thing. Varia needs to get ahead on items too. I'm guessing we this are gonna is... see just the. Yeah, we are gonna see a team fight here. Sky able to land the uh, four barrage and. Yeah, Sky is able to yeah. land four barrage and Lyra, but Lyra just backs up. And then Varya ends up getting the healing um, tree. In. If I was Team Everest, I would have pushed it. Definitely, Everest is looking desperate, trying to get something here. But little do they know, Varya has an ability that can. Beast could take out the team fight instantly. <clears throat> yeah, and I don't think they're gonna get too much out of here, so I think they're just better off farming. Yeah, you know, they, they, they should either push into the jungle or not. Yeah. And this guy hasn't uh, bought either this room. This uh, Glaive has a buy on her already, so Glaive might win when we won. If the Glaive is able to able to land his um his A and the special interaction with his A where he can cast and he can use his B immediately. His twitch is immediately while he's in his um when, he, when when he's in his stand phase, he can probably burst down the sky fast enough. You know, I didn't actually know you could do that. Yeah, if it's you have to do really fast though. Well, like, I've always just used my A, my full A, even the stun and then the B, but I'm also a noob, so... It was like, <laughs> I remember learning it back when Tension Bow was really strong, because you could just pop people. But honestly, I've been playing Glaive, and I've had a lot of success with Tension Bow, uh, Spell Sword. And especially against two Squishies, it's, I mean, this Glaive is never going to have a chance against this guy unless he bursts her down. I, I feel like a glaive might actually be really good into Varya lane. Yeah, so I that was that was my thing too. I think they um, glaive into Varya is really good, but also glaive with Varya is pretty good too. Both support and jungle are at this uh, tree, and both people are rotating down. We might see a fight here. The tree end up does end up going to glaive, and they're just going to start playing passive again. We are coming clearly no set. All they have to do to win this game is not lose early and just build. Yeah, they really just need to focus around this Varya too. You know, I would say Glaive is fairly early game, but Varya I think needs to get a little bit into her her build to really start putting out damage, especially when she gets that Dragon's Eye. Definitely gonna think the build is gonna be alternating current. I go alternating current, shot in her glass, the Dragon's Eye. I just appear <clears throat> dead. Yeah, and I've seen a lot of people with success with the alternating current Dragon's Eye and Eve, and then a fourth item being Broken Myth or, or Shatter Glass. 
But against such a squishy comp like this. Yeah, you probably won't need to. Now, the interesting thing is the Slaver did not buy um Crucible like we mostly, but this Wingo, this box is getting chunked up in lane. And this Fly has no mercy. Once this Fly is <laughs> the it's gonna be very interesting to see how much damage they wanna put down. Leave, yeah, trying to do some damage. Sure. To do some damage to the box, but gets punished. I'm sure Everest is regretting this box pick. Yeah, I, I mean, what what else could they have played? You know? Yeah, the Varia is a pretty hard laner to play into, but I think I don't know. CP lane might have been a little better choice, but obviously not yeah. with Sky. But this Lyra is taking a lot of damage, but still has Fountain. He does end up popping <clears> Fountain, <throat> it's a really good thing to get off right now, but... It's really hard to pressure Varya. She, she, can clear the, she can clear the wave instantly. Like It's also really hard to, uh, you know, to like, kind of like... poke at turret, just because they're not going to get too much out of it, since Lyra is just going to keep on healing. Yeah. Blade looking for an afterburn gets the stun out, but does not get enough damage to kill this, um, kill this um, Vox. But Secret Love is almost able to get the kill, and he ends up using his trying to catch his ult to get the final damage out. And now they're trying to take tower, they end up getting it, but this Glade ends up getting the kill in the, from the back line. But it's taking a lot of damage, and they do not have Fountain right now. Maybe this guy can pull something off here. Aquazio will have his um, A up in a couple of seconds. Aquazio is doing so much damage and able to just burst down the sky. Yeah, and I think uh, since Aqua is definitely doing a lot of damage, he should probably think about picking up that tension bow. I mean, at least for me, I would. Honestly, the, the lead they have right now, tension bow would not be a bad item. But he is he is gonna go for like the triple spell sword build, or is it double spell sword build and then like tyrants? I have never seen that build. Wow, that's interesting. I've never thought about that. I've always, I don't know. I would have preferred to see a tension bow, and you know. And the thing is with this comp, I don't even know if you would really need a attack item on Glaive just because he wants to be so burst oriented. Yeah, and the the. For Reminiscing on the first game, the first game was really close as well, but these second two games have just been a landslide. Yeah, I don't know, maybe, uh... Aqua subbing in? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this game is doing really well right now, and that black for the last game was doing extremely well as well. I think it's just come down to the drafts. I think Everest just, yeah. just got beat with drafting. It's definitely nice to have a fourth person when you're drafting and not only be drafting with just your team, have someone else that has a cool head. Yeah. And is, is, that what, is that what Weir Kamir has? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Weir Kamir just going straight for this tower, they just want to end this game as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. They might be able to keep down. <clears throat> And you know, that that's that's also a big problem for me too, when I'm drafting and I'm the last pick, it's just like, you know, who do I pick into this comp? That and then you just kinda kinda just start getting nervous, you're like, oh god, who do and you start getting stressed out and you just eventually you're just like shit, I just gotta pick the first person that I see. Yeah. I've done a lot of times where I just accidentally like do like a safety pick that I just randomly pick because I have no other clue what like I have no idea what else to pick. And that's the only character that I can think of. Yeah. Like a panic pick. Like a what? A panic pick. It's like a panic oh, pick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like a panic pick. <clears throat> <sighs> this game is definitely going towards We Are Camera's favor. Mm -hmm. 5k gold lead. And so, I, I just think the, the Arden and the Vox probably didn't. Yeah, and I would have know, probably liked to have seen. Um, oh. This glaive is just doing so much damage to this Vox and almost is able to one shot the Vox. 
Obari going in for the ult trying to put some pressure down. And I think this guy is going to go through the wall, but he's just going to end up targeting the Arden. Getting a nice kill on this Arden. But Aquazel is saving his... Aquazel is saving his afterburn, but... Mess it up, I think the game might have lagged a bit, because he could have knocked it into the wall. That's a bit simple. goes behind and tries to get the kill. Pops Fountain, and he should be able to get out minions came just in time. I think they kind of overstay their welcome. Definitely. Everest has to do He's something here to... Ever Sky going in, and then trying to get trying to get the ladder. The ladder ports out. Aquazil's still right there, trying to look for a pick. But right now they're very separated, and Lyra's by herself. Maybe Four if they get this kill on the far, yeah. Push yeah, something here. That was really nice play. Box is able to block it, is able to survive this. But they can get a, they can get a kill on this glaive. <laughs> definitely, we definitely Aquazil being a bit too hectic on trying to pull the trigger on this game. Then the ends up Aquazil. So I'm looking at, at Glaive's build. He does build the double spell sword, but you know I can't remember for, uh, how much his his recharge time is with just the one spell sword. But I don't know if I if I really like that double spell sword build. Yeah, I don't know how I don't know how they stack. Because but his afterburn is up every eight seconds, or I think it's seven, seven and a half or something like that. It's it's eight just regularly without any cooldown. So I don't know uh, how much would cooldown. Wait, no, it's ten well, without any cooldown. Yeah, so it's so he has two. I'm, I'm looking at when he uses it. It's, it's an eight second cooldown. Okay. At least I believe. Definitely. Let you know when he uses it again. I guess. Yeah. Aqua's a stun, but I'm not getting anyone too low. But this far is still four HP in the back line, and they're very critically low. The, yeah, the so combo is nasty. Yeah, and I think uh, Vox and Sky have you know little to no defense for this glaive, so that tension bow would have been really nice. I definitely think too. Definitely think as well because you can clearly see this this glaive wants blood a lot of it. He just keeps on going in over and over again. The tension bow just mm -hmm. is so nice against these two squishies that. Aren't really prioritizing defense against him. Yeah, and he's not able to stay in these fights for very long because they're so kitey. He actually just stole. He actually just stole them, but he gets stunned up by the gauntlet, double gauntlet. But this Arden just goes down, and it, the enemy team has no more protection. Obviously, goes to the backline and ends up punting back the box. And box ends up not going down, but the. Spear out of nowhere, the lightning javelin out of nowhere ends up piercing the box and getting an ace for the team. Yeah, that Sky, she overstayed her welcome there. She could have been gone. She could have gone home Man, and just really protected need, turret. Yeah, I really need to see a potential comeback here. What I would like to see, this actually like helps uh, quite a bit, but if, if you're this behind and they're all in the jungle, Keep a minion candy on you, and if they try to fight you with sentry, pop that. The sentry becomes so strong with the minion candy on it. You can you can minion candy the sentry. Yeah. Oh well. I guess we learned something every new guys. Learn something new every day, guys. Honestly. I guess you can minion candy the the sentry turret or the or the, the sentry the crystal sentry. There we go. You can also minion candy the gold the gold mine. Do you know that? Can you still do that? Yeah. It's neutral oh. though, so like it's both it'll just both attack. Attacks. Yeah, it'll attack whoever. But back in the day when you took gold mine and it was yours forever. <laughs> I remember Aren't you looking days. back at it? That was kind of dumb. Yeah. It just made lane really hard for the team who had both. Or for yeah, the team that the had gold, none. Gold miner the gold miner also worked as a turret as well. Well, they are going for this um, crystal sentry. Be able to bait them out into the 
a lot of the Vario's ulti damage, Sentry is eliminated, able to get the stun, they end up using more threads. This Varya blocks the Goblin that's able to go in and there's just so much damage. Arden gets knocked back from the Afterburn and they, they, they end up taking the kill on Arden somehow with the Lightning Javelin. Secret Love's Lightning Javelins have been really clutch. They're looking to just end this game as fast as possible. And the Lyra's auto ends up getting the kill. Just gonna go for this tower. Yeah, honestly, I thought it was over from the from the draft. And definitely, you definitely think it would be easier to handle Blackfoot than it would be to handle Avaria. Yeah. And also, Avaria does have that Eve, like I was talking about. Once she gets her stacks and her, uh, you know, especially from the Eve, she's pretty much you know, she can unkillable. She can't go down. You know, especially because her her chain lightning. She needs a nerf, right, so she, and she's gonna get a nerf in a couple days. <laughs> yeah, I, I could see it probably when the next patch comes out, which I'm guessing it's is when five years from caught out. I have no clue what he was doing then, but <laughs> they might have just given up, honestly. Yeah. This this jungler has really made it for these past two games. Aqua has, Aquazilla has clearly outperformed. And he's other, a playmaker. Definitely. Like, you never see him back down. He's always trying to go in there and get something done. And that's that's what I really like to see from junglers, is guns that are, they're, they're not, they're not afraid to go into fights, and they're not, you know, afraid to dive turrets or kind of just, just make plays. Interestingly, this, uh, Hippo Bone Saw. I'm still thinking that tension bow. But yeah, me too. It seems to be working out well for him. The tension bow still gives him that. If it goes on, um, Arden just ends up wasting his gauntlet. Arden gets pushed back by the afterburn. They must just get pumped down. And this three teams are very low. Vario is full HP. And Vario has this fountain and crucible. They go for the Arden to shut him down. And Arden is taunting. The other thing Sounds is... Hits, but isn't able to do anything. Is pushing down on the, the fold, and I think this might be GG. Yep, we are coming here. Played a really strong, really strong draft both both these last two games. They just put up a reverse sweep. Yeah, a GG to them. Well, I think the way they could have prevented. The draft that happened now is not pick up Sky first. Yeah, I, I think they should have picked. Yeah, I could see that, but I don't know who they'd play instead of Sky into this.